What is going on, Washington fans? Happy Thanksgiving Eve. And today, guys, I'm coming with my late preview between our beloved Washington football team against the Dallas Cowgirls. I mean, Cowboys. <laughs> uh thursday um a thursday game on thanksgiving basically prime time the whole world is gonna see or uh, the, it's gonna be an it's gonna be an interesting game to say the least and you know i feel as if we have a chance to win this game but we also have the chance to get blown out because <laughs> we are the washington team <laughs> but anyway guys let me get to the keys to the game so last time we played dallas we destroyed them at our house 25 to 3 it was just an ugly game for dallas that just had nothing going on offense and their defense was playing terrible and their st defense is still terrible but dallas is coming off an impressive win against minnesota the andy Dalton let them take game winning drive and their defense somehow some way ended up winning the game for them at the end but that's the pass so key number one we just got to get the run game going with antonio gibson I don't want to see Peyton Barber get the ball. Last time Antonio Gibson played Dallas, he carved that defense, like just manhandled them. And, you know, give the ball to Gibson, get the running game going with him. And sometimes he can maybe hand it off to McKissick, but I want to see Gibson be the lead back. This guy is our future and him and Terry is what we're revolving our offense around and building around. So, you know, just number one, run, get the run game going with Gibson. And once you get the run game going, Alex will won't uh have any, that much pressure on him, and because when you have the run game going, for example, on first and ten, it'll, it'll be a second and three, second and four, and this just opens up your playbook, you know. And then we get our play, we get the balls to our playmakers such as Isaiah Wright, Cam Sims, Terry McLaurin, Logan Thomas, you know. And that's basically the gist of it. Just run the run the ball with Antonio Gibson. And that defense cannot stop the run. They're terrible against the run. I think they're dead last against the run, maybe. But yeah. Uh, next game is I'm um, next. Sorry, next key is stop the run and pressure any Dolan. into so like two and one. Stop the run. We're not good at stopping the run. We got to get better at that. This defensive line needs to step up. Jonathan Allen, Deron Payne, Matt I, Matt, Matt and I stop with you. Sorry, Montez Sweat, Ryan Kerrigan, Tim Settle, Smith Williams, Chase Young. This they just need to stop the run. Once we stop the run and we put pressure on Andy Dalton, he's gonna fold. Andy Dolan's gonna have PTSD when he sees John Bostic lined up against the other uh, line on the other side of him lining up, and you know he he's gonna see ghosts, man. But the thing is, you know we can't underestimate Andy Dolan because he's more comfortable with this offense, and he's played he's been under this this offense for a couple more weeks now, has more experience. But you know. This defense line needs to step up and stopping the run and pressuring the court. Uh, Andy Dalton will have a nice game. We'll have a pretty decent game. Of the game will plan plan to end into our favor. But yeah, that's that's key number two. Key number three is the turnover battle, and I'm this is probably my key for every single preview video. But we just need to win the turnover battle. When we win the turnover battle, we win the game. I don't want to see any muff punts. I don't want to see any kickoff returns. I didn't, um, no, fumbling on kickoffs. I just don't want to see that. We shouldn't, we're, we're, we shouldn't be more disciplined. We sh a team that doesn't turn over the ball as much, we shouldn't. Alex, check down Alex, shouldn't be throwing that many receptions. Gibson, you know, having that one fumble, and McKissick had some of those, those fumbles, but had some that fumble against Baltimore. And we, we just got to make sure that we're a disciplined team. We, we don't turn the ball over. We got to make sure we cause Dallas to turn the ball over. They, I think they, their point different, uh, turnover differential is negative something. It's a deep, big number. But my point is, if we we can get some interceptions, I can see Ronald Darby getting an interception or Kendall Fuller getting an interception because Andy Dolan's getting so much pressure and just the defensive line is wreaking havoc on him. But yeah. Um, so the injury report, uh, I think everybody for us should be healthy, should be good to go to Shazier. Everett is out, however. Terry should play. He was questionable and was limited in practice the whole week, but he should be fine to go. Stefan, I mean, speaking of Terry, Trevon Diggs, his son, <laughs> is not playing this week, so he won't be getting burned by Terry McLaurin, so he'll be, he'll be saved by that. But, however, their offensive line did get a lot better. They shifted their right guard, Zach Martin, to right tackle, and it just seems like it shifted the whole offensive line. So we'll see how they do against our stellar, yet somehow a little overrated defensive line. But we got to see. We can't be playing against, we can't be playing good against quarterbacks like Ryan Finley and just not do anything against Andy Dalton. I get it. We did that last time. But we got to step up when the lights are on us. And this is a great game for Terry to show that he's a top five wide receiver. Everyone's watching. Same thing with Antonio Gibson. He needs to get the credit he deserves. And I want him to ball out. 
But yeah, I talked about the offensive line for the Cowboys and how they're changing. And you know, their cow a Cowboys coach passed away this week. I forgot his no. Yes. So originally he went to the hospital and then they diagnosed of him. No, then they said that uh, reports came out that he was di- uh, he passed away. But then that was false. But then he actually passed away a couple. I think the day after. So uh, condolences to him. I forgot his name. I'm sorry. I need to figure that out. And they canceled practice for that day. But you know, I can see us having. I can see us like getting blown out honestly because it's prime time. We don't play good on prime time. A whole everyone's gonna be watching us and. I don't know. I can see Dallas just going off to a fast start, and we're going off to a slow start because that's what we usually do. We go off to slow starts, but yeah. But I w- it would be really sweet to see Chase Young get a strip sack on Andy Dalton. That would be nice. But for my predictions for this game, I have us losing because it's hard to pick for it's hard to pick a win for this team. It's hard having uh. It's hard. Sorry, what am I saying? It's hard for us. To pick us to win. I don't know why it took me so long to say that. Because it's just, we're the team, we're the, we're the football team, and we just find ways to lose games. But we've we'll followed it three and eight for the, on the rest of the year. Yeah. <sighs> and oh, I have this losing 24 uh, 21. Their kicker somehow gets a game winning field goal, and we lose on Thanksgiving. That's pretty much it, guys. Hopefully I'm wrong. I want to see his ball out. I can't wait to see this game. It's got me hyped. Dallas, Washington rivalry, man. It's been, we've been through a lot, man. And Dallas week, ah, oh, it's got me feeling some type of way. But in other news, John Wall does not want out. So I'm kind of happy for that too because he denied the trade request. And hopefully it's not true. And yeah, it's been a pretty good week in DC. Got a win. John Wall doesn't want out anymore. And that's allegedly like it's reported that he doesn't want. I don't know if it's true or not because he hadn't he didn't want to comment on it. And now it's Dallas week. Let hopefully we can get this win. I want to beat them Cowboys, man. They, them fans man, are just so delusional. But that's pretty much it, guys. Peace. Hail to the football team and have a happy Thanksgiving. Courtesies to our boy Dan Schneider. <laughs>